Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Art Money Success Podcast. I am your host, Maria Brophy, and today we're going to talk about training people, particularly your clients, to treat you in the way you want to be treated. Now, in the early days when I was new to the art business, my husband, Drew, and I, boy, we could have learned from this lesson, and we did. We learned it the hard way. What we came to understand is you can train people to see you in a certain way. And when they see you in a certain way, they treat you in a certain way. So we got this lesson. I want to say it was a good 15 years ago. You know, Drew, back then and and still today, one of the ways we've been able to be in business is to make art prints of all of Drew's art to license his art for different uses and make money off the same artwork again and again and again. And that that's really how we've been able to find success, which kind of is a no brainer for an entrepreneur that's been in business a long time. Uh, business Smart business people know that you have to leverage what you're doing. So about 15 years ago, a local surfboard shaper, pretty well-known guy that we know and love, he came to Drew and he said, look, I want to sh- I want to trade a painting for a surfboard. Now, today we would never do this, but back then we did. Um, and Drew did a little painting for him. And before he gave the painting over, we got a high res digital image of it like we do with every piece of art before it leaves, because if it's good enough, we're going to make prints of it. Well, a few weeks later, we did. We made we made prints of it and somebody bought one and they hung it in the window of a local store. Well, one day we get it, we get a bang, 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 bang on the door. And it was that surfboard shaper and he is mad. He's like fuming, really frothing at the mouth. And he's, and he's yelling, that's my art. That's my art. How dare you sell my art to someone else? He was livid. And Drew looked up and, and said very calmly, how do you think I feed my family? And then he calmly explained to this man, that is how we have been able to beat the odds of the starving artist by leveraging the art. And then he turned it around on this surfboard shaper and said, you know that shape that you made for me? I'm not the only person in the world with that surfboard shape that you created. You've probably sold it to a hundred other people. And then the man got it. He started to understand. So we realized since then that there's a way to prevent that. And actually, that is the last time that ever happened. That is the absolute last time. And the reason is because we are now very, very clear on our business model. And we're very clear that our business model includes selling originals and prints of those originals. And if you buy an original, you are the only owner of the original piece of art but you do not own the image. Other people may get that image. My husband Drew always says, you train people how to treat you. So people come to expect how they're gonna treat you. So for example, if you're somebody that's always giving stuff away and you're always doing free things for charities and you're kind of wearing yourself out because you're giving away more than you are receiving in your art business, you have trained people to take and take and take without giving. You can turn that around. Okay, so in my book, Art, Money, Success, I have a whole chapter on this, and I'm just going to read this little list that I made. I'm just going to read it to you. Um, And that is, the list is, you can train people to treat you the way you want to be treated by, number one, being verbally clear of your expectations in the very beginning of your relationship with them. Number two, being very consistent in your policies, including your pricing policies, 
how you meet deadlines, and how you expect to be paid on time. Number three, valuing your own time and your family's time and your children's time enough to not allow people to waste your time for things that don't pay you. And number four, setting boundaries and sticking to them without apology. So over time, word gets around, people get used to how you do things. And they come to respect you. And, and eventually you realize, hey, I don't have any problem people in my life anymore. I guess I trained everybody around me how to do how I want things done. So I'll read another part out of my book. It's titled The Bad Client. One artist I worked with wanted help dealing with a bad client. She said the client paid her well, but they had this paid her well, but they had a dysfunctional relationship. The client would text her at all hours of the day, night, and on weekends. Can you relate to this? She felt compelled to answer their text within minutes, or they would constantly hound her. She felt trapped. She had no free time for herself or her children or her husband. She said this client was like having a bad boyfriend. So I explained to her, it's not the client's fault, it's yours. You have set this expectation for the client. This is an easy fix, and the fix is this. You email the client and you say, hi, so that I can better serve all my clients, I have set specific hours where I will be able to respond to you. And these hours are between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. If you send me a message after 5 p.m., I will respond to it the next business day after eight. This way I will be able to take better care of my clients and be with my family when I'm with my family. Thank you so much for understanding. And then when the client texts you after hours, you just don't respond until the next morning. And this is how you retrain them. It's kind of like training a pet or a husband or a child. You know, we, we all, eventually behave in the way the boundaries are set around us. If you want to learn more of my tricks on how to more smoothly run your art business, check out Art Money Success. It is on Amazon. And hit the links below in the show notes, and you'll be able to get on my free e-coaching newsletter. And you'll also be able to get links to everything, all the things, all the things I'm doing. I hope this helped. And if you're in my inner circle, send me a question that I can answer on my next podcast. Love you all. Have a productive rest of your day.